Hi there. Today, to make the most of our math block, we're going to look at answering essential questions. Our essential question today is, how can we model numbers to five? To help us answer this, I pulled out four numbers to five activities. Now, these use different tools and manipulatives because that will help us answer this in different ways. You can ask this during your whole group time and then either do this during your small group or model it and put it right out into your centers. Once they've used these activities, that will help them come back together and answer your essential question. So let me get these activities set up and we can model how to play them. For this activity, they'll be tracing their numbers. And then I also have five frames so they can build it. So let me pull out one of the tracing number cards, five frame and dry erase marker so I can show you how to play. So the first one, you're going to go ahead and trace it. Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way you make a three. And they're just gonna repeat that practice, following those dots and there's small numbers and arrows to help them know how to form it. Once they've traced all their numbers, they're going to go ahead and build it on their fives frame. So three, one, two, three, or they could start with them all off and just go ahead and build it that way. One, two, three. They'll erase their tracing card and grab out their next one once they're ready. For this activity, we'll be using the links and counting how many are on a tens frame to build that many. So grab out the card, a pack of our links, and it's easier to count them before you attach them to the card. So let's go ahead and use one. So count how many? One, two, three, build that many. One, two, three, attach it, and then double check. One, two, three, one, two, three. Both of those show three. And you can talk about how the model on here is on a tens frame and how you made your model using the links. They'll continue until they've built all the sets or until your center time is finished. These, you can use different counters for these counter mats. The first one is counting bears. So they will just count one to one. One matches one. They can use any of them. One, two matches two. And they just count how many. The next map is counting buttons. So they have their counters. One, one, two, and continue until they finish. Another version is counting glue. One, one, two, just building that one-to-one -one. and think about how they're modeling. They're using different counters. They're matching numbers. So you can always go back to that essential question. For this activity, we have model number mats, zero through five, and then a bin with the materials that we'll use. So I pull out one of the cards to get started. They're going to trace it, make it, build it. And here's the tools they'll use. So for trace it, you'll use dry erase marker, down and across, down to the floor. That's the way you make a four. For make it, they can use the pipe cleaners or the Play-Doh to make the number. Just for the video to go faster, I'll go ahead and use the pipe cleaner. So we wanna have that down and across, down to the floor. Trace it, make it. And then these are the mini erasers, but you can use any counters to build it. One, two, three, four. So they're modeling it by tracing it, make it, build it. And that'll go back to that essential question. How can we model numbers to five? so they can think about those three ways that they did it during this activity. Once they're finished, they'll put those materials away and grab out the next mat to model them. Once you finish with the activities, come back together on the carpet and revisit that essential question. How can we model numbers to five and call in students to hear their different responses? I just went ahead and wrote in some possible responses to save time. They might say things like, I traced or I drew numbers to five. I used a fives frame to help me model numbers to five. I use those star counters to build numbers to five or any other counters that you may have used during that. And keep going with, I use links or I use tens frames to build numbers to five. And this anchor chart is perfect to keep going back to to build upon if you use different ways to model the numbers. Or when you're building or modeling numbers to 10, you can go back and think about, well, we use these ways to show five. Can we use some of these to show 10? And just build those connections with your students. I hope these activities were helpful and something you can use. If so, make sure you like the video so I know. I'll link below any of the activities or the materials that I used today. 
and make sure that you follow along to see more videos of making the most of our math block.